This video is going to cover um, specific defences, which is the second part of the immunology part of Unit 3 of Higher Human. So there's going to be quite a few videos on this section, just because it's easier to break it up into smaller pieces. Um, this first one is going to cover just very generally lymphocytes and their response to antigens. Okay, so antigens you'll probably have heard of um, maybe quite a wee while ago when it comes to earlier on in high school. Antigens are essentially proteins that are in the surface of cells. Okay, so again, try and link it to things that you might be asked. Okay, so proteins, remember there's a link to ribosomes there and there's a link to mitochondria for energy and the nucleus for um, when it comes to genes for the production of proteins. Right, so you do have antigens on almost every cell in your body, okay? And they're described as what's called self-antigens. Okay, as in they belong to the self, yourself. Right, and then we also have pathogens that have their own antigens. Okay, and they're called non-self antigens. Okay, so non-self meaning not belonging to yourself. So I'm going to show you the diagram in a minute, um, but I just want to kind of give you a general introduction to what this stuff is first. So when it's on your own cells, they're self-antigens, and it's important to recognise your own ones. And when it's on pathogens, foreign pathogens, these antigens on foreign pathogens, they're non-self. Okay, and again, it's really important to recognise that these things are not belonging to you. Now, if your body detects foreign pathogens and the antigens on those foreign pathogens, what it'll do is it'll trigger a specific immune response. Okay, and this is where a different type of white blood cell comes in. Right, so we have lymphocytes. Now again, this is covered in National 5 just very generally. So phagocytes are covered in National 5 in terms of them engulfing and digesting, and we cover them in higher. And this also covers lymphocytes. Now you might remember from National 5 that lymphocytes produce specific antibodies. That's not all they do. Okay, that's one specific type of lymphocyte. And you'll notice that I've got here, there's two. Okay, so we have B lymphocytes and we have T lymphocytes. Now this video is not going to delve into those two types, I'm going to have a separate video for each of them after this. But what I want to do is just generally describe what lymphocytes are and what they do. Okay, so they are specific white blood cells, so it's not like phagocytes from the previous video, when phagocytes are non-specific. These are specific white blood cells, they are involved in specific defence. Okay, and like before, like all white blood cells, they're producing the bone marrow from stem cells. So think about the fact that there be mitosis occurring within that, okay, and they're unspecialised cells that become specialised. Alright, now, what they have on them is really important. So these lymphocytes have specific receptors. Now again, if you think about your previous knowledge, these are receptor proteins because all receptors are made of proteins. Right. Now these receptor proteins will bind to antigens on a foreign pathogen. Now with this topic and this same um, part of the unit in general, there's a lot of words that sound quite similar. Okay, antigen, pathogen, they sound quite similar, and you really need to understand what they mean each. Okay, so. These receptors on the outsides of the cells, these proteins, will bind to the antigens, those proteins on the outside of a foreign pathogen. So this is a lot easier when we actually see a diagram of it and to see how this works. Right, so I'm going to do, I'll just show you a quick example of that. Right, so this diagram I've got here are essentially, they're just two lymphocytes. So this is a lymphocyte. Now I'm not specifying which type because it doesn't matter at this point in time. It will matter later when we talk about the next, um, the next video. This is also a lymphocyte. Now you can tell these are lymphocytes because they have receptors on their exterior surface. Okay, these are receptors too. Now notice the difference. One has a different shape to the other. Okay, so these receptors are specific. And they're specific to a particular antigen. 
again and remember think about specific in terms of um, national five specific means that they match in terms of their shape right and just as a reminder receptors are proteins now this week guy in the middle here that i've got is a pathogen now remember a pathogen is a disease causing microorganism that could be a virus that could be covid for example here okay, it could be measles or whatever else now on the outside surface of that pathogen you'll see there's little lumps okay that little lump is an antigen okay that surface protein that they have on them to tell you whether it's part of you or not part of you right so those antigens then what will happen is they will bind to a specific lymphocyte a lymphocyte with a specific receptor that matches that antigen so if you look at the shape of this receptor and the shape of this receptor in each of those lymphocytes, only one will match, okay? And it's only this one that will match and bind to that antigen. So what happens is that antigen and the pathogen that's part of it, or the antigen that is part of the pathogen, will bind to that receptor, okay? So the antigen on that foreign pathogen binds to the receptor on the lymphocyte. Right, and that's what's shown here. Now notice that this one isn't binding because the receptor does not match, okay? The receptor isn't specific to this particular an um, antigen on that pathogen. Okay, this might be one for measles, this might be one for COVID or the flu. So what happens next is then that this cell then divides and makes copies of itself. So it makes clones and that's what I've shown you here. Okay, so this is a clone of the one above. Now, clones are identical copies. These might not be exactly identical to what I've drawn because I'm not an artist, but it gives you the gist. Okay, so that lymphocyte creates clones, right? And this is known as the clonal selection theory. Right, now selection because it selected the right type of white blood cell, the right type of lymphocyte that has receptors that matches those antigens, okay? So they are specific. Now this is why your immune system is actually really remarkable because Think of all the different colds and flus and diseases and things that you've had in your lifetime. You have a specific lymphocyte for every single one of those diseases that you've ever come across. You'll have one for the cold you had when you were two. You'll have one for the chicken pox you had when you were two and a half. You'll have one for the, um, the cold sore that you had when you were five. Okay, and all those other humongous numbers of different microorganisms that you've ever come across, you will have lymphocytes to match every single one of them. So you have hundreds of thousands of different types of lymphocytes. Okay, so if you come across a particular antigen, it will bind to the specific receptor and the specific lymphocyte that will match it. And then these will produce clones. Okay, this one doesn't produce clones because it's not bound to the antigen because it doesn't fit. Okay, so it repeatedly divides Right, to produce those clones. Now this is really important to remember because this happens no matter what type of lymphocyte it is, okay? And everyone always tends to forget that. No matter what type of lymphocyte it is, whether it's B or T, this will always happen first, okay? So the lymphocytes will always bind to the foreign antigen on a pathogen and it will always form clones. Right, so that's the key message to take from that. I'm going to move on now and I'm going to do the next video on T lymphocytes.